Hey everyone, Andy from Single Trek Magazine. I'm out in the woods just around the corner from my house to take a look at this. No, it's not a new bike, but it's my personal bike. This is a Commensal Meta AM29 Tram Edition 2019. That's its full title. But as you can see, it's not quite a Tram Edition bike now because I've made a few changes to it. So uh, yeah, if you've been following Single Trek, well you have, you've been following single track for the past year, you will have seen that I did a first look on the Commensal Meta AM29 Shram Edition last year when it arrived, and I was absolutely buzzing because I do like a Commensal and I love this bike. Now, since then, we've done a full test on it in Single Track Magazine, the printed magazine. You can go and check that out. And now I still have the bike and I use it as my long-term test bike. And I use this platform because I've got on so well with this chassis. I understand the suspension. I understand how it feels and how it's meant to feel that I use this as my test bed for a lot of other components. Now, as you can see, I have changed quite a bit from stock. So as you can probably tell, the SRAM Edition bike came with a full complement of SRAM kit. So originally this came with a RockShox Lyric fork, it had spank wheels on it, it has the GX Eagle group set still, and it had a few other bits and bobs, but I've changed them over time so I can test those parts on a bike that I know, trust and understand. So one of the first things that you guys are going to look at and be thinking, yeah, that's new, it's the fork. The fork on this is a Fox 36 2021 fork. Yeah, it's a fork from the future. And it's that Marmite root beer brown color. I say Marmite, I like it. A lot of guys don't like it. It's a bit of a 50-50 split, but it is a special edition, limited edition colorway as their heritage fork. Uh, other Fox 36 colors will be orange, matte black, gloss black. So if you don't like the brown, that's, sorry, root beer. If you don't like the root beer, that's cool. There are other colors too, but I've got the root beer and I've got it on this bike. Yeah, it doesn't quite match the SRAM red, but it looks all right, I'm, I'm happy with it. This is a 160 mil travel fork. It has the new VVC uh, compression and rebound adjustments on there. And it has the new axle design on there too, plus the air bleeder ports. You can check out more inf information on the Fox 36 and the Fox 38 on Single Track World and on YouTube. Now, another change that I've made up front to this bike is the stem. The stock stem on a Commensal Meta AM29 SRAM Edition, oh, it's a long name, is a uh, Alpha component stem, and that's Commensal's own brand. In fact, I still use the Alpha handlebar because I really like the feel of it. Now, the stem that I've changed to is a fun equalizer stem, and this is an all new, brand new stem, so new that I'm the only person in the world with one. So what makes the equalizer so special is that it can be run either way around. So if you, if you run it like I'm running it now, it has a 10 millimeter rise. If you spin it around, it has a 10 mil drop. Why is that important? Well, sometimes some bikes come from the factory in the box with a really short steerer tube and no spacers, and you don't have much wiggle room in height. Yes, of course, you can change the handlebar, but the equalizer stem gives you that option of changing the uh, uh, stack by 10 millimeters, either dropping it or raising it. Now, the equalizer stem that I have is the black and silver version. There are lots of colors, so fun like to do tons of colors. There's blue, purple, orange, red, and lots and lots of other colors that you can choose from. They also do different lengths as well. I've got a 35 mil stem on here. Fun also do a 42 and a 50, and they also do clamps for 35 mil bars and 31.8. I've got the 31.8 on here, which works well with my alpha bars. Now, connected to those bars, normally it would be a set of alpha lock-on grips, but I've changed them to these Gusset S2 extra soft lock-on grips, uh, which I got a core bike earlier in the year. So they're on there now. They feel pretty good, a little bit narrower than I uh, you, you tend to use. I've been using Bergtech grips a, a lot recently and I like that chunky feel. So I'm just getting on with these, just figuring out whether I like them or not, but the actual compound feels really, really good. Now, another component that I got from Core Bike, but I completely forgot about because it was put in a bag and shoved behind my chair, are these Nuke Proof Horizon 30th Anniversary Edition flat pedals. They're super, super shiny. They're a uh, forged uh, flat pedal that are CNC machine. And as you can see, they're super, super shiny. They look amazing. Tons of really nice, sharp little pins in there to keep my feet locked on. And they've got seal bearings throughout, so they should last a long time. So uh, once lockdown is over and we can start hammering the trails properly, I'll be able to give you a test uh, review of those as well. 
Now, another change that I've made is the saddle. Now, there was nothing wrong with the fabric saddle that came on this bike. In fact, it's one of my favorite saddles of all time. But when SDG said, can we send you the Bel Air 3? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So the Bel Air saddle has been in production for 15 years. And believe it or not, I think Chips has every single Bel Air saddle ever done so all those cool gt special edition saddles from way back in the day i think he's got them and they're all bel airs this is the bel air mark three it's uh, designed to look a lot like the original saddle but there's been a ton of changes in there it's got a lightweight composite uh, base it has a new alloy rail system it has this new uh, rug rubberized uh, edges on the side so if you do get in a crash it isn't going to rip and I've been on one ride on it, again, a cross country ride, because no nah at this time of year because of the lockdown. But so far, so good. It's very, very comfortable. It is a shorter saddle than my fabric, but it's a very, very comfortable saddle. All right, other changes that I've made to this bike. It from stock, out of the box, the Commensal Meta AM29 SRAM Edition comes with Spank wheels. And Spank wheels are really, really good, but Crank Brothers sent over this set of synthesis alloy wheels for me to try. Now, if you go back in time and search through singletrackworld.com, you'll find that I reviewed a set of carbon fiber synthesis wheels earlier last year, I think. Uh, those carbon wheels are tuned. They have a special layup front and rear, different spoke uh, counts front and rear, and also different rim widths front and rear too. So you can get a comfier front wheel and a more direct and stiffer rear wheel for shralping, if that's your kind of thing. But this is the alloy version. Obviously they can't change the layup, but you just still get that different spoke count. You still get the different rim design and they're still front and rear specific, obviously. But the rims also are front and rear specific. So I will be testing those in due course as well. Now those wheels are shod in V tire tires. Now I've been running the V tire tires all the way through winter. So I've got on well with these. I know how they feel. The uh, V tire flow snap Rear tire is a 2.35 width. It has a top 40 compound, so it's super, super sticky. And it's got a pretty fast rolling uh, tread pattern, despite it looking so aggressive. The front tire, though, is a full-on downhill tire. It is a 2.5 inch width. It's called the V Tire Flow Snap WCE Top 40. And that's the full-on World Cup downhill tire that if the World Cup was on now, you would see the propane factory team and the uh, Brigade factory team racing that tire. Now, because we're taking it easy in this lockdown situation and we're just doing cross country rides, I'm a bit overtired to be honest. I need something faster rolling and lighter weight. So I will be swapping these out. I'll probably go for Ask Guys or something because they still offer amazing grip, but they are a little bit faster rolling. Um, they are, I am obviously running tubeless and I think I have uh, stands in the front and PTs in the rear because I'm testing that as well. All right, other changes that I've made to this bike are, oh yeah, the granite design stash tool. It's not really a change, it's a bit of an add-on. So you will have seen that I've tested this on Single Track World already. It's a cool little tool that hides in the top of your steerer tube. Now, I like this for two reasons. Obviously, it's a really handy tool to have on the trail and you can make some uh, tweaks. You can raise your saddle if it's too low. You can make some fixes on the trail too. But I like it as a reviewer because it means when I get a ton of different forks in, I don't have to keep finding star fangled nuts and knocking them in. And it's just a bit of a faff. So having the stash granite tool uh, makes it really easy. I don't need to use a star fangled nut to get the uh, headset compressed properly. I can use the, uh, the system that holds the tool in place instead. And it means I've got this cool tool on the trail as well. So that's it. This is my Common Style Meta AM29 SRAM Edition. As you can see, lots of different changes. Uh, things have not changed. Obviously the uh, SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain, the chain set, although I did change it because I had a massive crash last year and I bent one side, but don't tell Common Style that. Uh, and the code brakes, they have not been changed either. So obviously, at this time we can't do a full review on any of this i will be getting out and doing cross country rides but once lockdown is over we'll be smashing the trails testing all this kit out and letting you guys know how it all handles if you've got any questions about my commensal meta am29 SRAM edition if you've got any questions about the fox 36 the grips the seat the tires the wheels anything if you've got a question about this on my unique shorts let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye bye